Isso. Hit around, we love for the champ. We know we come off because we're high, because we're amp. We love to hear here because you're strong and you're brave. You made us believe that we was Muslim, not slave. I've been watching you for such a long, long time, and it's a pleasure to just kick this round. When I would tell you like this, I know you're hyping and you're fast, saying you got love in your heart, it's gonna last forever. Slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, here we come once again with more rap for the champ. We're going to give it along because he's the light like a lamp. And that we're glad to be here. We know you're alive because Allah is the one to make us all want to strive to reach the heaven. So we got to get the level and got to cut ourselves off from the devil. I'm trying my hardest, but sometimes it'll be hard. So I'm going to keep on coming until they pull up my card and then live all along. And then until my life is done. And when it is, it's just another one of those tales they be telling about the brother who lived and want to live if I can and give all I can give. <laughs> what you are doing? I'm crushing up uh, one of the pills. Two and a half. Two and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Boxer, come here. Kiss his hand. He's a boxer. Muhammad Ali, this 
is the ghetto chick, Ava. I told him about you, Ava. <laughs> I go where I bet. This is her. I'm one, I'm one X. I used to be one X. <laughs> San Francisco. Remember a long time ago in the 60s when you come to San Francisco. I was there. I was one of their boys. That was you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Mark Carroll. Yeah. He said he's not as dumb as he looks. He probably get loose too. Tear, tear, Muhammad Ali, we we real around here too. Come, and, uh, come say hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come, Hamza. Hamza, not here. Good job. Sit, sit on the couch. Sit on the couch. Who is this? You come. Where you going? You want me to call Hunter? Yeah, go get Hunter. Tell him to come in. Free. Get loose, Ava. You, you talk some stuff. I know, I know, I know. Get loose on Muhammad Ali. This right here is the ghetto shit here. Yeah, yeah, you check it out, man. I don't know, I got you on a tap there. <laughs> This is a buddy of Jesse Jackson right here. <laughs> oh, whoa, dear, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Everyone happy, huh? Everyone's so quiet. <laughs> because they are uh, stunned <laughs> seeing you here. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> hey. Speak, Tyre. Very nice to meet you. <laughs> we we remember your fights in uh, with George Foreman. The mummy. The mummy. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't know how to dance. Can, can you dance? <laughs> Come. I'll try. I'll try. We are opening a mosque, a new mosque, we bought a new mosque, where are the pictures? And we like to invite you for the opening. This is a new, is it, is it, it is a church and we bought it recently, uh, might be on Monday we have the closing. So with the school, church and the school. 
and we are turning it into masjid, inshallah. So, mm. might be in one month's time we'll have the opening. So it's uh, on the main uh, highway. Inshallah, we'd like to invite you for for the opening ceremony. There will be a lot of Muslim mm. community. Yes. Yes. What do you say? Well, I'll find out the date that I'm going to show you. Always traveling. Inshallah, we'll tell you the date. Whatever convenient for you, we'll make it at that date. And it is. Where is the building? We're taking these. Especially made from uh, Uzbekistan, Central Asia. This is the gold thread. Food is ready. Sweets are ready. <laughs> <laughs> you like to eat or you like to sit? Who's waiting for? Of you, he became Muslim. Allah forgave him for everything before. Thank you, thank you, Sheikh, for telling me that. Uh oh. Tahir, take your specs off, blood. I referee. Who my to I hope not. Everybody sometimes he'll be acting like he, he can't move, and then he'll stop and say, watch this. He'll be walking like a brother in the hood. Nothing be wrong. <laughs> Look at this brother here. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave something. Yeah. You keep us laughing. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can keep saying that. I love you, man. Yeah. 
telling the truth, telling it the way it is. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure when you want to be real famous. I know it is, but I tell you, I never want to be there. But we'll be good in the world. Let somebody know you. In the country, in the city, in the traffic light. He wouldn't know. <laughs> you have a pretty boy. I'm not fun. <laughs> That's from the hood. That's what they call them in jail. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I ain't no pretty boy. I'm not joking. I have a. He wants to. What do you think? They pretty boy. Uh oh. Girl trouble. <laughs> girl trouble. No. <laughs> Mary, yeah. Mary. One, one man woman. <laughs> yeah, we all heard. We all heard it now. Where are the kids? Where? Where? Come on, Shauke, Shauke. To give, and paradise will send, will open her finger, one part of her finger to dunya. The whole dunya will faint from the nice smell and the beauty of that finger. What do you think about kind of life you are going to live there? If you are granted hundreds and thousands of huris because of your good amal. That will be granted to you and will be given to you. Will we go sleep at night? Yes. When you go to sleep? Similar. When you go to sleep to, at night, your ruh, if you are a Muslim believer, is in your ruh spirit will be in sajda between hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the throne. Under the throne, you are in complete sajda. Mm -hmm. We get to there after. When we go to sleep there. At time, you go to sleep, yeah. Oh, no, he's saying in the hereafter? No, in here after you don't need sleep. Allah said on himself that uh, never he needs a sleep, never he needs a nap or need rest. At that time you will be inheriting from that light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be dressing you from that light of his attribute. You will be dressed. When you are dressed with that attribute, you don't need sleep at that time. Right? Eat. Now, do you eat there? Do you eat? Yeah. You eat the food that it is heavenly food, cannot be described. <laughs> because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَفَاكِهَةً أَبَّوْ And Allah is going to give you a food, a fruit. He described the food as fruit. Because fruit is sweet, and you like sweet, so as a fruit in paradise means the best of what you can imagine. You will be given there. Shoot me. Humble. Yes, the food, the main judgment. The thousand years go by like one day. Inna yawman inda rabbika ka alfi sanatin mimma ta'uddun. One day to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is like one thousand day of your dunya. So when you die in Akhirah, when you die and go to Akhirah, at that time, the day is collapsing. There is no more elapsing. There is no more day. And there is no more night. It's already, you will be in paradise, what we call it a temporary paradise to the everlasting final paradise. So your grave will be Raudatum Riyadh al-Jannah. And that day, that even thousand years will come one second even. If we die today, tomorrow's judgment. If you die today, at that moment, that judgment is done. And go to paradise for moment, you know. We are to Allah and to Allah to go back.
when that soul is taken out, it will not be taken completely. One part will be left. So the dead person can feel. Prophet Sallallahu said when he was speaking to the kuffar and, and they were dead and Sayyidina Umar said, Ya Rasulullah, how you are speaking with them and they are dead? He said, they hear me like you are hearing me. So when you die, when someone die, as soon as everyone goes out, Allah sent back the soul in, this, in the body and open his eyes and he find himself in the grave. If he is a believer, that grief become a paradise. Rawdatum min riyad al-jannah. It become a heavenly paradise. If he is a kafir, that grief will become hufratum min hufar in a ditch, uh, in, the, in the ditch of hellfire. So that spirit, that soul will come back and you realize that you are in akhirah because you wake up, Allah, Allah gives you back that soul. Allah. That's what we call Iman. Al Iman Bil Ghaib. Believe in the in the unseen. unseen. And what Prophet Sallallahu said, that's what our belief is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ali, Sheikh Ali, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't create us to torture us. Allah the merciful. Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Rahman is his attribute in dunya that he provide Muslim and non-Muslim the same. Rahim, for Muslims in Akhirah, he forgive them, for mu'mins. And there are many people that never Islam came to them. So these people going also also to paradise because they never heard about Islam. Church and synagogue people. They go to? Do they go to heaven? Now, if you want it from a bigger door, or a small door, <laughs> the answer. You want the answer from a narrow perspective or a bigger perspective? Depend what kind of question are you asking, which kind you want an answer. You want an answer? Jesus is God. Praise Jesus. They die. They come. They go to What you think? No. If you think no, it's no. If you think it is no, it's no. If you think it's yes... I feel, I feel, I feel, I have to study and understand this now. I feel that everybody don't wish well or don't pray and don't, don't believe like us and go to hell. That's what I feel. That's correct. If mind to people to see the right from the bad, the good from the evil. But if you ask me long time ago, let's say 500 years ago, 600 years ago, if you ask that question, and you were living on this planet, on this, in this country, America, who was living here before? In six years ago, 600 years ago. American Indians. 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 Before Columbus find this place, who was living here? Indians. 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 Islam came to them? Indian. No. At that time, Islam how didn't no. come to them here. They never heard about Islam. So they go to heaven. Allah, of course, their judgment is in Allah's hands. Because they don't know. Anyone the message reached him? Anyone the message of Islam reached him, he's responsible. Anyone did not reach him, all, then... All the Negro, all the black people, all the white people, they never heard Islam, they never been the mouths. They go to heaven. Of course. If someone did not hear, his, what as he yes. said, if someone did not hear about Islam, how you want him to go to, to hell? 
like for example the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam father and mother they go to hell my mother and father never lives long and they never say to go to mouth but they went to church so they what? His father and mother never heard Islam, but they went to church. Of course they are going to paradise, because of you also. You are, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through children, save the parents. The parents. So this is a question to say, Hallelujah! Sheikh Muhammad Ali, Every, every leader is responsible for his people, is not? Yes, that's true. If you are a, a, gen, arm, a general, general in the army, you are responsible for your soldiers. Yes. Your soldiers believed in you. You have to do something for them. So, in the judgment day, Allah is merciful. Those Christians who all their lives saying Jesus, Jesus, and they are going to see Jesus there. <coughs> what they are, you think they are going to do? They are going to run to Jesus. They say, you have to help us. Yes. Jews, the same, they are going to run to Moses. They say, you are going to help us. And this is, we say in Islam, that this is in Allah's hands. So we don't judge anyone. We leave them. And we guide, we ask them to come to Islam. They accept, they accept. They don't accept. We leave them as Prophet Wasallam said, Lakum deenakum waliyadi. You have your religion, I have my way, you have your ways. Allah is the judge. Allah is the judge for Akhirah. Because you don't know, like for example in your case, your father and your mother, his case, his mother and his father, his case, his father and mother, that one from Armenia, his father and mother. You think they don't feel for their parents? Everyone loves his parents. He brought me, you were f worrying, worrying about your father, you remember? That's correct, yes. Everyone is worrying about his parents. They brought him to life. They, he wants them to go to paradise as he is going to go to paradise. What do you think? If you go in between Allah's hands and say, Ya Rabbi, oh my Allah, these are my parents. Please forgive them. You think Allah will not say yes? Allah is not merciful more than us? If I harmed you and I come to you and say, you Muhammad Ali, I harmed you, please forgive me. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. You say you go, I forgive you. The mercy in the heart, the love in the heart. If the child if your child did something you punish him? No. No, you hear they take you to police if you punish him. <laughs> I'm glad I've talked to you. I've learned a lot. Stuff for a lot. Ali, he talked about a little protection. What we all did was we grabbed his hand as our teacher. It's up to you. But uh, you want to grab his hand. I, certainly I grab his hand. <laughs> He's my teacher. Mm -hmm. To help spiritual guide. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's humble. He told you that. It's real, that's right. Give him your hand. I'll give him my hand too. Give him your hand. Yes, sir. 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 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim inna ladina yubayi'unaka inna ma yubayi'un Allah yadu Allahi fawqa'idihim faman nakata fa inna ma yankusu ala nafsih 
ومن أوفى بما عاهد عليه الله سيؤتي أجرا عظيما رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبسيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رسولا ونبيا وبالقرآن كتابا والله على ما نقول وكيل وقبلنا بسيد الشيخ محمد ناظم الحقاني شيخا ومرشدا الله 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 حق الله 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 حق الله 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 حق إلى حضرة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وأصحابه الكرام إلى أرواح إخواني الأنبياء والمرسلين وخدماء شرائعهم وإلى أرواح الأئمة الأربعة وإلى أرواح مشايخنا في الطريقة النكشبندية العلية خاصة إلى روح إمام الطريقة وغوث الخليقة خاجة وهذا الدين النكشبند محمد ويسي البخاري وحضرة أستاذنا سيدنا سلطان الأولياء سيد الشعب الله الفاز الدار الثاني سيدنا شيء محمد نازم الحقاني الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا كنعبد ويا كنستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين فاعلم انه لا اله الا الله 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 سيدنا ونبينا محمد رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا سيد السادات ونور الموجودات يا من هو الملجا لمن مسه ضيم وغم والم يا اقرب الوسائل الى الله تعالى ويا اقوى المستند اتوسل الى جنابك الاعظم بهذه السادات واهل الله واهل بيتك الكرام لدفع ضر لا يدفع الا بواسطتك ورفع ضيم لا يرفع الا بدلالتك بسيدي ومولاي يا سيدي يا رسول الله يا رحمة للعالمين نبي صديق سلمان قاسم جعفر طيفور ابو الحسن ابو علي يوسف ابو العباس عبد الخالق عارف محمود علي محمد بابا السماسي سيد كمير الكلالي خاجة بها الدين نقشبند على الدين يعقوب عبيد الله محمد زاهد درويش محمد خاجك الامكنكي محمد الواقي أحمد الفاروقي محمد معصوم سيف الدين نور محمد حبيب الله عبد الله الشيخ خالد الشيخ إسماعيل خاص محمد الشيخ محمد الفندين راغي سيد جمال الدين لومك الحسيني أبو أحمد السوري أبو محمد المدني سيدنا الشيخ شرف الدين الدارستاني سيدنا ولانا سلطان الأولياء سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفاز الدارستاني سيدنا الشيخ محمد ناظم الحقاني شهامة الفرداني يوسف الصديق عبد الرؤوف اليماني إمام العارفين أمان الحق لسان المتكلمين عن الله السخاوي عارف الطيار المعروف ملحان برهان الكرم ويا غوت لنا ويا صاحب الزمان ويا صاحب العنصر يا سيدنا جبريل يا ميكائيل يا اسرافيل يا عزرائيل يا منكرين ونكير يا سيدنا طبيب القلوب يا سيدنا رضوان سيدنا مالك يا سيدنا انكر ونكير يا سيدنا عيسى يا 24 الفا يا انسني يا ابي ايها الانصار يا ويس القرن يا سيدنا ابو بكر الصديق ثم عمر ثم عثمان ثم علي يا سيدنا حمزه يا فاطمه الزهراء يا حسن يا حسين يا ابو دلاء يا نجبا يا نقبا يا اوتاد يا اخيار يا مسلم اجن عموما يا حياه الاولياء يا درات الاولياء يا اهل البرزخ مجتمعون يا سادات النقشبندي يا سار الطريقه الامه رجال الله اعينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نعظى بفضل الله رجال الله اعينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله عسى نعظى بفضل الله رجال سنا بفضل الله رجال الله عيننا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله سنا بفضل الله وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون 
وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين May Allah سبحانه وتعالى bless you May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive you and forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clean all the sins of your ancestors, your parents, and send them to paradise because of you, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for heavens. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your heart like a flower with nice smell. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you with a fountain of knowledge. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enlighten your heart and enlighten your spirit and your soul. ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الله كيور يو أند كيور إيفري مسلم أند إيفري هيومن بيينغ أون أرث تقبل الله لا إله إلا الله يا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم يا أبو بكر يا عمر يا عثمان يا علي حسن يا حسين يا يحيى يا حليم يا الله لا إله إلا الله إن شاء الله دنيا وآخرة together I am servant I am servant of Allah slave of Allah سبحانه وتعالى and إن شاء الله I will, whatever I am guided, inshallah, that light will go to your heart from our grand sheikh. This dunya, Sheikh Muhammad Ali, is worthless. This dunya doesn't weigh, in Allah's eyes, a, a wing of a mosquito. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us deep knowledge that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't open it completely for humanity because their hearts were not able to contain it. And slowly, slowly, till today, these scientific discoveries, most of them we can see in Holy Quran. And we know that these discoveries are coming as Holy Quran described them. And I want to tell you something that People, they say, normal people, they say that this life is going and going and going. But this life is not going and going and going. Very soon this life is ending. This dunya is ending. Judgment day is coming. What Prophet ﷺ has predicted about the signs of the last days, it is coming now true. And we are seeing it. And one of them, he said, I give one example is enough to give us an idea. He said that, أن ترى الحفاة العراة رعاع الشاة يتطاولون في البنيان To see the barefooted, barefooted, naked Bedouin competing each other with high rises in the desert. That hadith of Prophet ﷺ, 1,400 years ago, he said there will be coming a time that it will indicate the signs of the last days is that in deserts there will be building high rises. And he didn't say only building high rises. He said, يَتَطَوَّلُونَ فِي الْبُنْيَانِ means they are competing each other. Who will build higher? Means everyone is showing that he is wealthy more of the wealth of dunya and try to be a higher building or a more nicer building. So now if you go to these countries in the Gulf, in the deserts area, you can see that. It's already done, happened. Mm -hmm. And this is, Prophet said, 1400 years. As soon as this happened, very short time, signs of the last days begin to appear. And this is one of them. And there are a lot of many other signs of the last days. If you take a Sahih al-Bukhari or Muslim in English, there are English, and check on the signs of the last days and read. 
and you can see all this. But people here, scholars of today, unfortunately, they are afraid for their lives. They don't mention these things, as if it is not part of Islam anymore. So they hide it. Muslims, yeah. Muslims are not teaching these things. They are, they, it is there in the books, but they are afraid to bring it out. They don't mention it to people to encourage them to do for Akhirah. Why are they afraid? What? Why are they afraid? They are afraid to die. They are afraid for their dunya. Not all Muslim scholars, but many of them, they are afraid of speaking these things. Why people doesn't know about these things? Why you are not telling people about these things in Holy Quran? Telling that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 1400 years ago, he said, when you see this occur, expect the signs of the last days. He said more than that. He said at that time, time will collapse. Time will be very short. You will be, everything will be so near each other. And now you are seeing this. Every country is near each other now, by planes. Yes. You go anywhere, in nine hours, ten hours, you'll be from far east yeah. to far west. Yeah. And that he mentioned it 1400 years. And Prophet ﷺ mentioned that uh, in these last days, the fruit in summer, you can eat it in winter anymore. And this fruit of winter, you can eat it in summer. Because the time will, will be elapsing in each yeah. other. And this is what we are seeing today. Now you can eat any kind of fruit of summer or winter in the same time. And look this globalization now of the whole world. You can reach any part of the world in one second now by, by, yeah, by cellular telephones, by telephones. This is all predicted <laughs> if you take Sahih Muslim and Bukhari and you read that. People are not touching on these subjects. I have made a series of how many lectures is Tahir? Six. Six lectures on the signs of the last days. And it is on tape. They are now editing it on the, uh, in a pamphlet. Most of the hadith of the last days. And what will happen in the last days? Big deal that every one of us is giving it an importance. I, I am, for example, I have $100 million let's say, and I cannot eat except this plate. And this poor guy has nothing and eats this plate. Is there anything more than that? No. When you die, what you, that poor and that rich are equal now. Yes, indeed. In wealth, in dunya wealth. The, <laughs> the rich cannot take his bank accounts with him to the grave, and the poor has no bank accounts. Both of them are equal. That one who was good in dunya and poor is going to find treasures there, wealth from Akhirah. And that one who was rich and was bad person, he's not going to find anything. But if he was rich and was good person, he's going to find a lot of things. Because Prophet ﷺ said, Al Ghani al Shakir, Afdal min al Fakir al Abid. He said, the rich who is thankful to Allah is better to Allah than the poor who is worshipper. Because the rich, he knows he is rich, he has money, he is thanking his Lord and giving fi sabirillah in the way of Allah. The poor has nothing, so what he is going to give is praying only. But if he was rich, that poor might be worse than the than the rich, and he do, might be doing something more wrong than the rich. So Allah said subhanahu wa ta'ala that a servant who is rich and thankful, that's what I like. Although I like the worshiper who is poor, but the rich and thankful means he has something to offer mm -hmm. to the Muslim community, yes. to the other Muslims. Mm -hmm. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us in the best way. I was explaining in one of the lectures in Indonesia recently that the soul of the Muslim 
two kind of of souls Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for Muslim he will take out when Allah calls when Allah calls his servant to his presence means by death he is that servant if he is a Muslim there is a Muslim there is mu'min two different completely different Muslim is a normal Muslim person. Mu'min is a higher level. If a Muslim, his soul will be taken like Sha'ra min al ajin Prophet ﷺ mentioned, like a hair from the ghee, from butter, how you take it very easily. The Mu'min, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send a special light from his light with Sayyidina Israel, that's the angel of death, as soon as that Abd see that light, Allah. he follows. The Kafir, he will be tortured. Angel of death will come through all his body, pulling out. In every pulling out of his cell, the life, he is tortured. You know how many cells there are in a human body? Man. Three trillion cells. Three trillions cells, living cells. Every cell is living. And every cell, like a complete factory, has its defense and offense system. And all of them are run by angels. When Allah is ordering the soul to go out, it has to go out of every cell that existing in the body. Three trillion cells. Islam is so huge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given and if we want to go deeper and deeper never ending knowledge never ending and we hope that inshallah ulama scholars will be teaching people how to be good Muslim they have in Malaysia, I was in Malaysia, they have a problem there. Some people are following some cult who are black magic. They call devil worshippers. They are Muslim. And they were asking me about how to, these adults, how to get them back to Islam. The problem in our Muslim countries is that we teach Islam by stick. Scholar there, they teach Islam by anger, by force, <coughs> by pressure. They say, for example, if you don't pray, you go to hell. Anything you do, they say, you make, you are going to hell. If you don't do this, you go to hell. If you don't do that, you go to hell. So they were asking me a question. I said, look, if they change their tone, instead of saying, if you don't pray, you go to hell, you still give the same meaning by saying, if you pray, you go to paradise. It's the same meaning, but different approach. Instead of telling a person, if you don't pray, you are scaring him, forcing him. By force, no one comes in this kind of time, 21st century. If you, if you don't pray, you go to hell. Why you say to him like that? Say to him, if you pray, you go to paradise. They will be more happy. Show the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't show the punishment. Leave the punishment to the end. You are not a prophet. Only the prophet can do that. So, ulama cannot do that. Ulama has to show the mercy that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful. Because we are sinners. Everyone is a sinful. <laughs> we ask Allah to forgive us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us. I can't imagine you being a sinner. I remember Sheikh Muhammad Ali, when I was four years, I remember, still till today, I go behind my uncle, he was the Grand Mufti of Lebanon, uh, uh, at all times. I used to go to 
one of the biggest masjid in Beirut called uh, Masjid al Omari in Beirut. He was the one the responsible there. I used four years of age, used to pray behind him, I still remember. Not only the Fajr and Zuhr and Asr and Maghrib and Isha, no, but the extra Sunnah prayer like Ishraq and Duha and Awabin, I used to pray behind him. Since four years, I, I remember I was praying for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And since seven years, I seven, I was fasting Ramadan. Seven. At one time I cheated. I was in a French school and I was thirsty and I was seven years or eight years I drank water. <laughs> I was eight years and I was so thirsty and Ramadan was in summer. <laughs> I cheated with water. So I how I cheated I I was I made myself making budu and <laughs> I was eight years and I was afraid to break fast. And the, the, at, it was from, from uh, morning at 2.30 Fajr, and Maghrib was at 8.30 in, in Lebanon, Beirut. So it was around 18 hours fasting, and I was a young kid. He told me if I hear you, I want you to be my teacher. <laughs> He's right. Allahu Akbar. Swag. And no comparison with anyone out there. Mm -hmm. One time I was traveling from Jeddah to America to here, <laughs> and you know the difference of time. So I left Jeddah at 12 midnight, and, and I was coming here, and I, I have to pass through London. So when I arrived to London, mm -hmm. it was Fajr already. So I am fasting. So I, it's Ramadan. So I have to come all the way to Chicago at that time. So it took me, and I have to wait at the airport, London airport might be another eight hours or ten hours, and then took the flight to come to America. So it took me 36 hours, and I didn't break my fast. <laughs> to reach here to, for Maghrib, and Maghrib was not yet here. I came to Ahmed Sucker's house <laughs> in Chicago, <laughs> and I waited two years, two months. If you're on the street, it's time for prayer. Whatever, and you can't find a place to pray. Do you pray on the street? Yeah, I can pray on the street, I can pray sitting in the car, whatever you want. So, have you ever done that? Yeah, you, where people walk in the traffic? Yes, and you pray? yes, airport, yeah, you name it, Disneyland, Disneyland, yeah. <laughs> everywhere, yeah. they pray everywhere. They yeah. pray, everybody, everybody bring their cameras out and start. And it's a big group usually, yeah. like 50, 60 really? people praying. Well, that's so good. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. 50, 60. Okay. <laughs> but one yeah. guy. One or two. Yeah. yeah, no problem. One or two or three. And then me, 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 Muhammad Ali. Yeah. So we're alone. I feel so strange. To pray. People. Taking picture. <laughs> no better. They see because when they see you praying, they, pray. they say, why they are praying? These people must be, they are Muslim. 